Dear Harry, I heard Professor Snape ask you to find some moon dew for your potions class. I can't believe he would ask such a thing. Moon dew only comes out at night and it's found deeper into the Forbidden Forest than is safe for a first year to go. Meet me in my garden tonight and I'll take you to where it grows. That way you'll be safe. Hagrid. Be careful, Harry. There's someone down here. Is that you, Harry? Hurry up. I want to get started. 
Right then, now, listen carefully, because it's dangerous what we're going to do tonight, and I don't want no one taking risks. There's a unicorn in there being hurt badly by Summit. This is the second time in a week. I found one dead last Wednesday. Could a werewolf be killing the unicorns? Not fast enough. It's not easy to catch a unicorn. They're powerful magic creatures. I never knew one to be hurt before. And what if whatever hurt the unicorn finds us first? There's nothing that lives in the forest that'll hurt you if you're with me. Right then, follow me.
You all right there, Harry? The, the unicorn's dead, Hagrid. It's in that clearing back there. What was that thing? A monstrous creature. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. Drinking the blood of a unicorn will keep you alive even if you are an inch from death, but at a terrible price. For you have slain something so pure that from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life, a cursed life. But who would choose such a life? Can't you think of anyone? Some say he died. Cards wallop, in my opinion. Don't know if he'd enough human left in him to die. Do you mean to say that that thing that killed the unicorn, that was drinking its blood, that was Voldemort? I'm saying nothing. Let's get going. But he's weak. He's living off the unicorns. But if he comes back, you don't think he'd try to kill you, do you? I think if he'd have had the chance, he might have tried to kill me last night. And to think, I've been worrying about my potions lesson. We've got to learn how to mix the antidote to common poisons. I hope you've collected all of the ingredients.
You have collected all the required ingredients for the antidote to common poisons. The antidote to common poisons is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Quidditch against Slytherin today? Good luck, Potter. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you. Even if it is against my boys. That was... disturbing. I'll tell you what's disturbing. Snape smiling. Quidditch against Slytherin, eh? It'll really wipe the smiles of their faces if we win. Just as long as we're not wiping you off the field. Come on, Harry. Follow me. Today, we're going to see Slytherin play Gryffindor in the last match of the year. Lee Jordan here commentating on what might turn out to be the game of the year. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. The two teams are pretty evenly matched, but only one will be the winner today. I'm sure everyone's been looking forward to this match. I know I have. And there's the snitch, and Potter's after it. Potter edges into the lead. control of his broom. Maybe something happened to it when Flint blocked him. No, can't nothing interfere with a broomstick except powerful dark magic. No kid could do that to a Nimbus 2000. A shot at goal! Potter needs to look where he's going. Look out, Potter! Slytherin will really be kicking themselves after that performance. Edges in front. Potter's so. It's Snape. He's jinxing the broom. What do we do? 
Leave it to me. A shot at goal! Fantastic catch! Well caught by Angelina Johnson for Gryffindor. Slytherin will really be kicking themselves after that performance. Potter needs to look where he's going. It's within his grasp. And the crop is passed to Marcus Flint. Potter needs to look where he's going. Potter edges into the lead. at nothing. He's got the snitch! Well done, Harry. It was Snape. Hermione and I saw him. He was cursing your broomstick, muttering. He wouldn't take his eyes off you. I know a jinx when I see one. I've read all about them. We've got to go to Dumbledore. Come on, Harry, let's go. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? You have no cards to trade. What are you three doing? We want to see Professor Dumbledore. See Professor Dumbledore? Why? It's sort of secret. Professor Dumbledore left. Ten minutes ago. He received an urgent owl from the Ministry of Magic and flew off for London at once. He's gone? Yes, Mr. Potter. Gone. And so should you be. Goodbye.